Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a sublimation experiment. So I have been getting so many questions over the year plus that I've been doing sublimation on, can you sublimate on cotton? Does it work? Have you tried any of the poly sprays? Etc. So I have not, and I'll be honest, the reason why I was kind of against it or not trying it for so long is because in my mind, I was thinking, okay, all you're doing is adding a layer onto the shirt that'll get washed out. Um, and so that's kind of why I was against it at first, but the more questions that come in on it, I was like, I gotta try this for myself. I can't always say no, I'm against it, or no, it's not gonna work if I haven't actually tried it out myself. So I went and bought some of this. This is the very popular um, poly tea spray, or the poly tea, um, I guess concentrate that you make spray with. So no, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. I went and bought this myself and we're testing this out ourselves and to get like an honest opinion on how it works and how it goes. So if you're curious and you're like, what are you talking about, Sally? What is going on? Sub we're talking about sublimation and sublimation kind of binds to a high polyester count shirt. So you have to have at least a minimum of 50% polyester plus it's better to have higher polyester counts if you want vibrant results because the sublimation just only binds to that high polyester count. So what this does is it kind of adds something to the shirt that makes it to where you can sublimate on cotton and some cotton blends. So that's what we're gonna be testing out today. And if you don't even know what sublimation is, just a quick rundown, it is a printer that has sublimation ink in it. Sublimation is a special ink. So you need that inside of the printer and then you print it out on a special sublimation paper. You get the design out, it's printed out on the paper and then you go and heat press that paper onto a shirt that has high polyester and then you get a beautiful shirt with a custom design um, tailored to whatever you want that lasts for years and years and years. Um, it's kind of permanent into the fibers of the shirt. So that's a downfall of sublimation is that it has to be high polyester and some people do not like polyester shirts because they're a little bit thin, sometimes a little see-through. So some people are just like, uh, and it's limited to kind of lighter colors. So what this does is supposed to make it to where you can sublimate on any blend. Um, so I'm really excited to test that out today and show you guys how it goes. I was going to include like the wash stuff, so how does it hold up in this video, but I decided let's break this up. Let's do the experiment today so you guys don't have to wait for a long time for me to like wash it. And then I'm gonna like wash it for a week straight like over and over again or something like that. And we're just kind of see how it holds up with the 100% cotton that we're gonna be testing out. And if not, maybe we'll try it on some other blends, some with a little bit of polyester, and just kind of see how it goes. Some people even put that on top of their polyester shirts, just as extra layer, and they say it works great as well. So anyways, we're going to be trying that out today, and I'm really excited to see the results, and we're gonna go over all of it today. We're gonna talk about what you need, how to do it, and how it looks, and all of that. So let's go ahead and get on into this video and do our experiment. All right, so here's everything we need to complete today's experiment. So I went and picked up these two shirts from Michaels. They're just Bella Canvas 100% cotton t-shirts. These are really pretty kind of off-white oatmeal color. So I thought that was really pretty. And you do need kind of lighter colors for sublimation. So I didn't want to go super white. Um, and these were really pretty. So we got these two. We're going to need our poly tea spray. This is four ounces concentrate and it makes 16 ounces of spray. It comes with instructions. You're gonna also need water, so distilled water or purified water, some way to measure it all out, and a spray bottle. I just picked this up at the Dollar Tree. You're also gonna need your sublimation prints. I have this one that says Mama. I thought it was really pretty. And yes, I know it's July, but look how cute this sublimation design is. It has all these little coffees for fall and I'm just a sucker for everything fall and I'm so excited to just like buy all the designs for fall so I just had to get it but those are really cute designs I got for these shirts and I thought they would match well with these. And then as well as that you're going to of course need parchment paper for your sublimation so get some of that ready and it did require you have some kind of cotton batting but I don't have cotton batting but this should work just fine like it's a towel. And the reason being is it's there to protect the back of your shirt from sticking to your platen when you apply that spray. So this should work just as well. It's just regular 100% cotton hand towel. So that is what we have for today's experiment. So let's go ahead and mix up this spray. 
Okay, so I think we're ready to make our mixture. So this is a 10 ounce spray bottle. So we're gonna go ahead and choose to make the um, eight ounces of spray. It'll fit perfectly in that spray bottle. So we're gonna need a fourth of a cup of the Poly T Plus, which is this, and then three fourths a cup of water. And I have this gallon of distilled water. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix all that together now. All right, so here is our mixture, and it says on here that it is good for six plus months. So um, maybe you can put a date somewhere on it. I think I'm gonna grab a marker and just write down today's date on the bottom of it, so that way I just remember when I made it. Okay, so our mixture is done. So it says now you're gonna preheat your press to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and head on over to our heat press and turn it on. Okay, so while we're waiting on the press to warm up, I'm gonna go ahead and just lint roll my shirt just so that way, you know, it doesn't have any of that, um, those little blue specks that you can get sometimes when you press when it doesn't have the lint roll um, gone over it. So we're doing that first. Okay, now I'm gonna take my design and just kind of visualize about where it's gonna be so I'll know exactly where I need to spray the coating. Okay, so, so I know around where I'm gonna spray. I'm just gonna put these little tape tabs, you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna do it. Just since it's my first time using this, I wanna make sure that I am doing it right, I guess. <laughs> but I'm gonna put it in all these little corners so I know about where I wanna spray. All right, so now I got my spray, and what we're supposed to do now is just take this and spray it all over the area until it's damp. Then we lay wet shirt over the cotton batting, cover with parchment paper, and then press. But So right now we're just spraying in our area that is gonna be pressed. Okay, so as you can see, it is very wet on the area that we're gonna sublimate on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these tape pieces off because we do not need them. Okay, now let's go ahead and head on over to the press and we're gonna go ahead and press this down. Okay, so I had already filmed, or I was in the process of filming the tutorial on pressing and I quickly realized that do not use butcher paper. Butcher paper is not the same thing as parchment paper and in my mind I was thinking, oh, just use like a sublimation type paper. So that is why I used butcher paper on top of this coating and that is a no-no. It stuck completely to the shirt, if you see. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of hard to tell. But there's paper all over the shirt. Hopefully I can save it, I probably should be able to. But it does say in the instructions, it says to use only parchment paper because regular paper will stick. So don't use butcher paper, it is not the same thing as parchment paper. That was my overs look. So don't make the same mistake as I did. Make sure you get original regular parchment paper, the kind that doesn't stick to anything and you'll be good to go. Luckily I have two shirts. That is why I always buy more than one thing because knowing me, there's always gonna be something go wrong with the first one and that's okay. Um, we have another one, we're gonna do that one and we're gonna try and salvage this one. I'm gonna try and like soak it um, and see if I can get it fixed and kind of just start over with the poly tea spray. But, only use parchment paper, don't use butcher paper, and you'll be good. All right, so we have our towel down. Now we're gonna place our shirt on top of that. Make sure that the shirt has the spray on it. Take your parchment paper, place it right on top of the shirt. and then press for at 320 degrees, heavy pressure for 30 seconds. Okay, so now that that one's done, you're going to take your second coat a poly tea spray and spray it all over your shirt. 
and then you're going to press again at 320 for 20 seconds. All right, now that that one's done, we are going to preheat our press to 385 degrees. Okay, so our press is preheated to 385. So now we're gonna lay our shirt right back on top and we're going to pre-press it at 385 for 10 seconds to kind of get all the moisture out. Okay, so everything is completely dry. Um, so now I'm gonna put my sheet of butcher paper underneath the shirt to protect it from kind of soaking through. And then we're gonna get two layers of parchment paper for the very top of the shirt. And we're gonna go ahead and sublimate our design. All right, here's our sublimation design. We're gonna go ahead and place it right onto our shirt, center it as best we can. I always add a couple little strands of tape just in case so it doesn't shift. But you don't have to do this. Two layers of parchment paper right over our sublimation design. And now it says to Press for 70 seconds with heavy pressure at 385. Are you guys ready to see the final result? Here it is. I think it looks so good. It looks exactly like a regular sub sublimation press on a polyester shirt, so I can't even tell the difference. Like the vibrancy is the same. So this is not over yet though. Like I said, we have to test it out through wash. So I'm gonna wait about 24 hours after it rests a little bit, wash it for the first time and I'll kind of film like the whole experience of like each wash and how it looks after each wash, how long it lasts. And we'll be back for like kind of a part two on this and see how it holds up. It definitely does have a little bit of a feel to it. Like I said, I guess it's kind of similar to, I don't know if you've ever felt like what a DTF transfer feels like. It's kind of a little bit of a harder texture, but it's not bad, it's soft, but it's just it's just different than what the regular cotton shirt feels like. But it might feel different after we wash it. Maybe it's just because we just sprayed it on. So we'll see how it holds up, but I definitely think that the first press went very well. It's very vibrant, very nice. So stay tuned for that part two video coming up soon. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye everyone.